Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having. When I say things online, I'm producing audio files for potential future of my life. I'm also producing audio files for the people that I'm pitching in my business. I am producing media content for politicians who are looking for, for fodder to force upon you so that it will take your mind off this period of COVID or this period of pandemic if I want to be a little bit more illiterate. But what I can say to you is that there are people that abuse people. And how do we get rid of abuse in the world? It was the primary reason that the Human Rights Declaration was written overseas. After World War II, we were trying to get rid of the Nazis, and we were trying to protect women from abuses around the world. And that is the primary reason that the Human Rights Declaration and the Human Rights Campaign has evolved today. It's to literally say to you and to me that where your rights begin and end today belongs solely and singularly with you. Now, if you are a marvelously lucky person who has been blessed by the Lord, you might have a child or two. But here's what I can tell those parents and those derelict parents about God, that he is expecting you to do your job in learning everything you can do to be the best parent you can be to that child. The lazy ass bastards of Satan refuse to learn from the years of research and scientific study of raising a thinking child, which is actually the name of a book. It's a title. You can read it yourself. But what I'm telling you is that in every obligation you have in your life, it is your job to pursue the best quality communication, interactions, and interpretations of what's going on in the world for you. If you're a failure at marriage, pick up a fucking book and read more about it so you don't fail your husband or your wife or your spouse. If you're finding your children are wayward and not listening to you, then pick up a friggin' book, watch a video, get on YouTube, and start learning better parenting skills to deal with the exact problem you're dealing with. I always recommend the Good Behavior Made Easy textbook, which is marvelous. It's got these cute little black and white graphic drawings and cartoons of kids and their behavior and a really simple chart of what you can do. It's a fast thumb reference when you're dealing with a problem, a tantrum, a biter, a hitter, a beggar, a pain in the ass child who's always looking for other people's attention more than you. But what I can say to you is totally important that when my teenager was a wayward kid, I literally picked up hundreds, probably almost thousands of dollars in books and read them to try to produce the best thinking child despite all of that. Now, I'm not lauding my abilities. I'm not taunting you with what I've been through in terms of tantrums from a teenage child. But I did go through a hell of a lot of abuse from him. But what I know is abusers produce abusers. His father, biological father, was a marvelous alcoholic and abuser of his wife. And an emotional, psychological abuser of his child. And third generation households were definitely something in Japan and not something that I had to marvel with here. But even if I share with you little bits and pieces of my life, none of it is tactfully and factually your business. But here's what I can tell you about my wife. She was the best friend in my life. Totally supportive, totally loving, totally kind, and totally righteous in her evaluation of you. The benefits of cross-cultural communication and cross-cultural evaluation with the country of Japan are innumerous. Amen. But there are other nations that don't have favorite, favorite status, and I'm okay with that, because they offer us as American citizens absolutely nothing in terms of our soul, our spirit, and our laws. 